good morning my dear friends in this session we are going to discuss about abdominal appendages in wingless insects immature winged insects and in adult insects see this is the list for abdominal appendages in wingless insects and this is the list for abdominal appendages in immature stages of winged insects and this is the list for abdominal appendages in winged adult insects we are going to discuss all this list one by one in the coming slides let's see about abdominal appendages in wingless insects in wingless insects the abdominal appendages are generally pregenital means they present just before the genital organs there is no appendages after genital organ the abdominal appendages in wingless insects includes styli in silverfish colophore in columbola retinaculum also in columbola furcula also in columbola see about styli varying number of paid tube like outgrowth present on the ventral side of the abdomen of the silver fish is known as styli these are the reduced abdominal legs which help in the locomotion colophore or ventral tube or glue peg this is the colophore the colophore is a cylindrical structure present on the ventral side of the first abdominal segment in the springtail this colophore protruded out by the hydrostatic pressure of the hemolymph this cell has an organ of adhesion it helps in water absorption from the substratum and also taking the oxygen from the surrounding environment let's see retinaculum or tenaculum or catch retinaculum or tenaculum it is a structure present on the ventral side of the third abdominal segment of spring tail this retinaculum or catch hold the springing organ or furcula when it is not in use furcula or furca or springing organ this is the y shaped organ present on the ventral side of the fourth abdominal segment of the spring tail when this furca released from the catch exerts a force against the substratum and help the insect for propulsion into the air now we are going to discuss about abdominal appendages in immature stages of winged insects they are anal papillae in mosquito larva tracheal gills in needs of odonata and epimeroptera dolly casters in ant lion grub prolex in caterpillars lupus and semi lupus anal papillae see here anal papillae in mosquito larva a group of four papillae surrounding to the anus present in the mosquito larva and this anal papillae are concerned with the salt regulation tracheal gills these are the gills which are richly supplied with the trachea 
to obtain oxygen from the surrounding water in needs of odonata and ephemeroptera see this is the need of mayfly contain seven pair of lateral gills see this is the needs of damsel fly contain two or three leaf like structure at the caudal ends known as caudal gills see this is the needs of dragonfly in dragonfly needs the gills are retained within the abdomen in a pouch like structure known as rectum and the gills are known as rectal gills so rectal gills are present in needs of dragonfly caudal gills are present in needs of damselfly and lateral gills are present in needs of mayfly dolichasters are the structure which found in antlion grubs abdomen each dolichaster is a segmental protuberance and which are provided with are fringed with setae see these are the dolichasters this is the antlion grub this is the antlion and this antlion grub feed on the ant which is fall in this pit pro legs in insect larva the thoracic legs known as pro legs and abdominal legs are known as pro legs or pseudo legs this pro legs or pseudo legs are present in lupus semi luper and the larvae of moth butterfly and sawfly they are generally Two to five pairs in their number. They are the unsegmented, thick, and flexy structure provided with the flat surface at the bottom is known as planta. And the planta spine-like structures are known as crotchets. These crotchets help in help in crawling and clinging the crotchets help in crawling and clinging on to the surface next we are going to discuss about abdominal appendages in winged adult insects they are cornicles in aphids caudal breathing tube in water scorpion scleritized forcep like cerci in air wing these are the cerci different kind of cerci we are going to see one by one in the coming slides then median caudal filament in silver fish phygo style in squalid wasp anal style in male cockroach and different types of modification of reproductive organs in different insects and male genitalia in male insects cornicles in aphids a pair of short tube like structures which are projecting from the fifth or sixth abdominal segment of aphids are known as cornicles these cornicles secrete waxy fluid and help in protection against the predator see this is the waxy fluid caudal breathing tube it is generally found in water scorpion in water scorpion two grooved filaments closely applied to each other and forming a hollow tube like structure at the apex of the abdomen that is the caudal breathing tube sarsai see this is the sarsai sarsai are the most conspicuous appendages associated normally with the 11th abdominal segment of the insects they are generally sensory in function they exhibit wide diversity and form 
see the sclerotized or forceps like sarsi found in air wing long and many segmented sarsi found in mayfly long and unsegmented sarsi found in cricket short and many segmented sarsi found in cockroach short and unsegmented sarsi found in grasshopper asymmetrical sarsi found in male embed median caudal filament median caudal filament is there in mayfly and silverfish median caudal filament of the mayfly and median caudal filament of the silverfish in this insect the epiproct is elongated into a sarsus like structure known as median caudal filament Phygostyles, a pair of unsegmented sarsi like structures found in the last abdominal segment of squalid wasp are known as phygostyles. Anal styli. See, this is the pair of anal styli in male cockroach. Short unsegmented structure which found at the base of the abdomen of the male cockroach are known as anal styli, and these anal styli are used to hold the female during the copulation. Ovipositor the egg laying organ found in the female insect is known as the ovipositor. This ovipositor are suited to lay eggs in precise microhabitat. Ovipositor also exhibit wide diversity and form. See, the ovipositor is long and sword like in catidid, long horn tassopher, and ovipositor is needle like in cricket. Ovipositor is sting like in worker honeybees. Pseudo ovipositor. Pseudo ovipositor is generally found in fruit flies and house flies. These flies lack an appendicular ovipositor. See in the fruit fly, the elongated abdomen is terminate into a soft point with which the fly pierces the rind of the fruit and lay eggs. In house flies, in house fly, the terminal abdominal segments are telescopic and these telescopic segments help in the oviposition. The ovipositor of house fly is called as pseudo ovipositor. Ovitubes are oviscapped. Male genitalia. The external sex organ of male insects which are confined to the ninth abdominal segment are known as male genitalia. Male genitalia in dragonfly and damselfly. The functional copulatory organs are present on the ventral side of the second abdominal segment but generally in almost all insect the functional copulatory organ is present on the ventral side of the ninth abdominal segment modification in the abdominal segment of the insects reduction in number of abdominal segment has taken place in many insects See here, in spring tail, only six segments are there in the abdomen. This is the thorax redly colored and see only six segment of the abdomen in spring tail. In house flies, two to five segments are clearly visible and segments from six to nine are telescoped within other. They are very small. In ants, 
bees and wasps. The first abdominal segment is fused with the metathorax known as the propodium. See, this is the first abdominal segment which is fused with the metathorax is known as propodium. The second abdominal segment forms a narrow petiole and rest of the abdominal segment forms a gaster. See here in VASP also, this is the propodium, this is the narrow petiole and this is the gaster. Ephemorphic development and anamorphic development. Ephemorphic development is the development in which the insect body segment number in which the insect body segment number is fixed before and after hatching. But in anamorphic development, the insect body segment number is added or deleted after hatching. Ephemorphic development is seen in almost all insect order except in Prochura. Anamorphic development is seen in Procurans and in millipedes. Thank you.